Hi everybody, it's Kristen and happy Topic Tuesday and actually today we are doing a Tag Tuesday. For those of you that haven't been around as long as others, every once in a while I will switch up my Topic Tuesday video and do a tag that I have been tagged to do and that's what we are doing today. So today we're doing the All About Eyes tag and I know for sure that I was tagged by I think five different people. There may have been others so I apologize but anybody that I mentioned I'll link below. I know I was tagged by Makeup MLC or Michelle from Sandra from Sandra or Makeup Lover USA I mean um, I think Cornelia from Baby Cake 390 um, Sani from Miss May 27 and also Lauren from Redhead PhD so thank you guys for taking me for this and um, as I said I will link them below I'm, I apologize if, if you take me and I missed it I tried to keep track of them all okay so what eye cream or serum do you use I've talked about this several times. My holy grail that I use is the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. I use this one all year round when I'm not trying to use up something else, which is what I'm doing right now. I really like this one um, morning and night during the summer and just in the morning during the winter. And then I use the extra, the Bobbi Brown Extra Hydrating at night during the winter. But I really, really like this product. It's nice and creamy and sinks into your skin. I'm going to show you what it looks like. looks like that. This is my new one, but I'm working through some before I allow myself to, to break into this one. Okay, number two, what is your favorite under eye concealer? I've talked about this. I used to talk about it a bunch, and I haven't talked about it since then because I just continue to use it. But it's always listed below in what's on my face. And this is the Giorgio Armani Maestro Eraser. That's a dark, con what is it? Dark Circle Concealer. And this is darker than you would think you would want a concealer. It's not... The most I just put a little bit right there. It's not like the most brightening concealer in the world, but it, for me, it really works well. It conceals, I think, um, <laughs> and it is uh, moisturizing to my under eyes. And I, as I said two seconds ago, I have really dry under eyes, and I really like how it works with my skin. It's by far my favorite. What I don't like is the packaging. It's a disaster. This is what it always looks like, and I store it like this. I don't store it upside down. I don't travel with this ever, ever because of that, just because of that reason. Okay, what is your favorite eyebrow product? I have it used up and I'm working through others right now, so I, and this is going to be the, the, the problem for a lot of these answers, but um, the It Cosmetics Brow Power, brow power um, I've shown it a couple videos back, I showed it in my empties. That is what I'm going to repurchase once I've used up the products that I have. I, I really like that brow part. It, it stays really well. It works well with my coloring. It's just the one color. I think it's actually called Universal Taupe. But it, it for me, it works really well. I very, very much enjoy it. Number four, what is your favorite eyeshadow primer? Okay. I actually did a video on this a little while back. I'm trying not to cough, by the way. Um, and mine is a, is, a, is a duo. I don't like either one of these. Well, I like them, but not as well on their own, but you put them together, and for me, it's magic. So this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I put that on, let it sit just a little bit, and then I use MAC Painterly Paint Pot over top of that. For me, this is the good for my coloring. It blanks everything out, and it also stops any eyeshadow from creasing. Like, well, for the most part, any eyeshadow from creasing. But for me, that re that works really, really well. Number five, what is your favorite eyeshadow palette? And it says in parentheses, you must choose just one. Well, I don't think that's quite fair. That was really hard for me, I have to tell you. It probably took the longest prep time for this video was picking one palette. So I went with the Lorac Pro. I feel like it offers the most versatility. The other ones that I kind of looked at were um, Urban Decay Naked, the first one, on um, Lorac Unzipped. But I feel like this just has a few more options and it. it has, you know, more mattes, it has a whole row of mattes. This is talked to death. I think a couple other people also picked this palette. So I guess I would have to say the Lorac Pro, but I would be sad to not have some of my other ones. Your favorite eye makeup remover. Again, this is something I don't have here to show you, and it's Bioderma. By far, Bioderma is my favorite. As I just showed you in the haul, I, I picked up the Sephora cleansing water to see if that um, is something that will be comparable to the Bioderma, but hands down for me, Bioderma is my favorite eye makeup remover. Number seven, your favorite mascara. 
Um, I have two of them, one, you know, kind of mid-range and then one drugstore. I don't have either one of them here to show you and I didn't want to go buy them just for the sake of the video. So I do have the, 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 <laughs> spit it out. The drugstore one is the CoverGirl Super, or CoverGirl Professional Super Thick Lash. I taught, I've talked that to death a little bit. I do have a review on that somewhere that I will try to link below for you as well. And then the other one, I haven't talked about it in a long time because I've had so many others to use up, but it's Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. That is the mascara to which all of the mascaras are um, compared for me anyway. I really like that mascara. So those are my two favorite mascaras. Number eight, your favorite eyeliner, gel, coal, or felt tip. Um, my favorite is a pencil, and not necessarily a coal pencil, but a, but a pencil. And I have two. I have drugstore and I have a high end. Um, I accidentally put my drugstore one away. Okay, so from the drugstore, I have this in the black and the brown. This is the Giordana 12 Hour Made to Last. I find these work really well for me. Top line, tight line, underneath, water line. These work really, really well. And then, and I don't, I don't know which one is better than the other, so they're they're very even to me, which is why I'm showing you both. And then the other is the Tarte um, Skitty Smolder Eyes Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner. I have been talking about these back when they were retractable, and they weren't called Skitty Smolder, Smolder Eyes; they were just retractable. I have loved the brown and the black one in this line for a very long time, and I got a, the Sunstone Bronze one in my new beauty test tube earlier in the spring and have worn that down to really teeny tiny uh, and and since then have purchased more was gifted a few I, I really like these as well so either one of those liners are my favorites um, number nine your favorite single eyeshadow uh, I did not say I had to pick one so I picked three I picked a high-end I picked a drugstore and I picked a loose the one that I'm wearing today, and this is, if I had to pick one out of all three of them, would absolutely be this one. And this is the Le Métier Debuté in Corinthian. I just love this shadow. This is, and I don't know that I've talked about this ever, but would I really just want, I, ha I can't say one shadow, but basically a one shadow look, I will use this. And then I put Quarry from MAC in the crease and a little brulee up top. Uh, and that is a perfect go-to kind of look for me. This is what it looks like. I was just telling my friend Susan from Twitter, and she's a subscriber and Instagram about this shadow. Ugh, I just love that. So, if you guys, this used to be talked about all the time and hasn't been talked about lately. If you have this in your collection, go pull it out. Show it some love. Drugstore, and this is my second or third of these. I think third. Wet n Wild Nutty. What can I say? It's also taupe. And it leans more on the brown side of taupe. There they are next to each other. Nutty, and then that's Corinthian. They truly have the same smoothness. I don't know what it is about this particular shadow from Wet n Wild that... Mm. And then... For loose, I'm trying to get some on my finger without making a big old mess, is hands down Snazzy by Bare Minerals, which I found this summer. So that's what it looks like in the pot. It doesn't look like really anything, but there it is. So Snazzy, Corinthian, Nutty. Didn't say I had to pick one. <laughs> okay. And what are your favorite sunglasses? Just before I move on to that, let's just make sure I didn't miss any questions. I always miss a question. I don't okay, think so. So number 10 is what are your favorite sunglasses? I only have two pairs of sunglasses. And one is a, and, and I like them both, so I just thought I would show you them both. So the first one is, um, I bought these at like at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Ross or something like that. And they're just, what are, they're Calvin Klein, just aviators. I don't know. They're nothing special. They're just aviators. So I like those every once in a while. But the ones I wear the majority of the time, I bought at a coach outlet, so I didn't pay full price for these. And they just look like this. I am so boring with my sunglasses. But I don't like sunglasses that hit down here. You know, I, I just can't, I can't deal with that. 
It drives me crazy. So that is the All About Eyes tag. Thank you so much for those who tagged me to do this. I tag anybody else that is interested in doing it. Um, and let me know that you did it and I will come. I will try. I guess you'll have to tweet or something because you can't. You can't video response anymore. But anyway, let me know if you do this. If you are not interested in seeing what's on my face, then thank you for watching. And if you are, I will run it down very quickly for you. I am currently kind of comboing um, the Chanel Perfection Lumiere and the Lingerie de Peau BB Cream. It seems to be working for me. I really want to use this up because I've had this for a long time. And um, it's a little too thick. It's a little too drying right now for me to use on its own. So that combo seems to be working. On my cheeks today, I have the Marc Jacobs Blush in Reckless. I did have to build this up a little bit, I have to say. Jury's still out on that. And I told you that I had the, the Corinthian on my eyes. For my liner up top, I did use the 12 Hour Made to Last in um, Jordana in Black. What's it actually called? Black Point. Um, on my lips today, oh, and I have the Taupe Takeover from Maybelline underneath. On my lips today, I have the Givenchy in number 3112, Violine Presu, I think. All right, so that is it. I apologize for any choppy editing. I tried to, to edit out any of my coughing. So I hope that you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!